In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to change the strings on your ukulele. I'll be using my tenor ukulele for this, but it doesn't matter if you have a soprano or a concert or a tenor or even a baritone, the process will be the same. The techniques I'm going to show you are things that I've learned along the way and have been successful for me. But also remember that you have to kind of jump in there and try it yourself. Once you see me doing a couple strings, try it. Because it's somewhat awkward to get the string wrapped around the bridge and up around the tuning pegs and it just takes some practice. So don't feel bad if you break a string or do something wrong. As long as you get the strings on, the ukulele stays in tune, then you're good. What you'll need for this lesson is a pair of strings, a rag, some wire cutters, and not totally necessary but helpful is a string winder. All right, let's jump right into this lesson. Let's go ahead and start now with our fourth string, the G. And I have a low G on my ukulele, but it doesn't matter if you have a high or a low. And the first thing we're going to do is just simply loosen the string. You just want to get the tension out of the string. You don't want to take the whole thing off. I mean, you can, it just takes a while. So what I like to do is just loosen it up. Then I like to grab my wire cutters. And then I just like to cut the string somewhere in the middle. Now the reason why you release the tension is because you don't want that string to snap back and ding your ukulele. All right, so I just unwrap it from the tuning peg, pull it out. <clears throat> and I just take the string out from the back here. All right, now this is where your rag comes into play. So grab your rag. And just, this is, I just wipe down the parts that I can grab, including the neck and the body, especially where the string was. Now I like to only change one string at a time, because if you take all four strings off, it releases all the tension from the neck. And I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's bad. I like to keep the tension on the neck, so I just do one string at a time. But you can do what you want. All right, so next you gotta grab your string, your new string. And I'm using Worth strings here, and these are just the ones that Koloha recommends for the ukulele, but it doesn't matter what kind of strings you have. So the worst strings, they come in one long string that you cut in two. So essentially you get two sets of strings in one package. Now this one's already been cut, so this is already just enough for the one string here. So I'm gonna take the end here and I'm gonna push it through the hole here in the bridge. And I wanna give myself plenty of slack here because I wanna wrap it around a couple of times, but also, we're gonna cut it so it's okay. So then I bring it back around and underneath the string, and then I bring it through the loop here one time, and then I bring it back around and take it through the loop twice. And I'm sorry, my fingers tend to block the shot, but as you do it twice here, you should have a little piece of the tail stuck here and then you just simply pull it tight. So notice the string is wrapped around itself twice and you have a little bit of a tail here which we're gonna cut off later. Then you're gonna go ahead and bring the string up to the tuning peg. You're gonna put it through the tuning peg and you're gonna pull it taut. All right, and this is the stuff that I'm talking about that's a little awkward. So now my string is taunt, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply just pull up just a couple inches. You don't need tons of string wrapped around the peg. Just, you know, two or three times around. All right. Now what you got to do is you're going to take what string is in your left hand here and you're going to bring it around towards the floor and you're going to go underneath the string and then I'm going to bend it back over the string like that. Okay, so let me show you that again. So I have my string straight through. I pull it so I have a couple inches of slack. I'm going to bring the string towards, towards the ground, underneath the string, and then I'm going to wrap it back around the string itself. So essentially, it's wrapping around the string that's in my right hand. Okay. Now, you got to kind of hold, pull with your right hand and pull with your left hand, and then you got to tighten it up a little bit because you need to get one wrap in, and then you can let go of it with your left hand here. So as I'm tightening this up, I am pulling both of them. My right hand's pulling the string and my left hand. And then once you get wrapped once around, you can kind of let this go in your left hand because it will be caught by tension. Okay, so now I'm good. I can let that go. I'm still pulling here with my right hand and I'm just going to now tighten it up. Now this could be a time that you grab your, your string winder, it might help. I'm going to keep it without it for this one and I'll use a string winder the next time. As I'm pulling, I'm pushing down on the string so when it wraps, it wraps underneath itself and it goes down the post. Okay, so I'm wrapping it up. Still giving a little slack but as it gets tighter, it's should hold itself in. Okay, so you can use just keep point hitting it so you can hear it. Now remember, these are nylon strings here, so they're going to take a while to stretch out. And that's just the nature of ukulele strings. All right, so I'm pulling now. So I, I just need a G note. So you just want to get it tight. It doesn't matter if you how close you get to the G really at this point in time. So we got the that string on. Now I'm going to grab my wire cutters here, and I'm just going to simply right at the the post here. I'm going to cut these off. And now I'm going to move and I'm going to come back down towards the bridge and notice I may have a little bit of a tail here and I don't like that tail to be touching the ukulele because I've found in recording that it has actually caused a little bit of a buzz. So I'm going to reach my clippers in here and pull it up. Very careful, you can also scratch your, the body of your ukulele real easy here. And I'm just going to simply cut this little tail here. And I actually didn't leave it quite that long enough, so it's hard to get these clippers on here. Let me try again. Okay, and then I just cut. Okay, so you have nice cut string here. And you have a nice cut string here. All right, let's do another string because it takes a while to kind of look at what I'm doing and get the process down. So now, just for the heck of it, because we've, we've done these, these strings, I want to do the first string here, okay? So again, the process is the same. So you, you're going to simply release the tension. And again, you don't have to take it all the way off, just release the tension so that string doesn't snap back and ding your ukulele. All right, once I got a little bit of tension out, I go ahead and grab my clippers and I cut it. I still like to kind of hold the string to make sure it doesn't snap off. Then I'm going to take off 
the string from the tuning peg. And I'm going to take off the string back here by the bridge. I'm going to grab my rag. I'm going to clean the body and the neck and up by the headstock. All right, now I'm going to grab my first string here or my A string. And as mentioned before that here's a string that has how it comes if you buy the worth strings and see how long it is. So you got to basically just grab it. Get it in and even and it doesn't have to be perfect because I give you extra grab your wire cutters cut it and now you have a another string for another day all right so now I'm going to put this string down here through the bridge now on this one I'm going to give myself a lot of extra because I'm actually going to wrap it around three times instead of just twice. Plus, as you saw earlier, if I don't give myself enough, it's hard to grab the wire cutters and, and clip it. So here we go. So I wrap it around a string, then pull it a little bit tight. Then I go through the loop once. So that's once and then twice. And now because these thinner strings tend to slip a lot more, I'm actually going to do it one more time. So three times to ensure that we got a nice solid grip. So now I wrap it around one more time. All right. And then I pull it tight and notice I'm going to have a little bit of a tail left here and that's okay. We'll cut it. All right. Now I bring the string up to the tuning peg. And sometimes you got to get the hole of the tuning peg to match up with the fretboard so it's easier to put through. So I put it through. <clears throat> Pull it tight. I'm going to give myself just a couple inches. I don't need a lot. You don't need to pull way up, just a couple inches. Now this one, because it's on the other side, you're going to actually bring it up towards the sky and then underneath the string. Remember when we did the four string, it went down and around, but this one went is going to go up and it's going to go around. Okay. There's actually one other thing that you could do with this as extra protection. If you wanted to, you could actually also put this one because it's thin enough back through the tuning peg. like this. And now it actually kind of forms a natural bond with it. Now you can't do that with all the strings because they're too thick, but on the first string and the second string, you can wrap them in twice and then they're actually already caught like that. Okay. <clears throat> the other way was wrapping it around like this and then going up and over the string and forming a a uh, nice little knot with it there. And you can do both actually if you wanted to. You definitely don't want the first string tends to slip a lot more because it's so thin. So now I'm going to hold both of them like this and I'm going to start tightening it up. You could grab your string winder if you want. And I just need to do it enough where it grabs and wraps around. Now I'm still I'm pulling with my right hand here. And I'm also pushing it down so it wraps downwards down the tuning peg. All right, and I'm pulling it tight. Now it's enough where you can actually let it go. And I'm just going to tighten it up. And you don't have to get it perfectly in tune because as I mentioned, these things are gonna be stretching quite a bit. So you just gotta, I would just get it 
tight is gonna take a while just to even get it tight. Okay, so you know you can do that with a tuner. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my wire cutters. I'm gonna cut. Just put. I just usually what I do is I put it right on top of the peg and then I just cut it, and it gives you a nice cut right there. Then I'm gonna go back to the bridge here. I'm gonna grab this tail and I gave myself a little bit of a longer tail this time. So it's easier to grab. <laughs> well, I say it's easier to grab. <clears throat> it doesn't want to be grabbed. So I grab it. Then I just cut it and I try to get as close to it as I can. And I cut that off. And again, now the string is not touching the body back here. All right. Now, a couple things here about these strings. Because they're nylon, they're going to take a while to stretch out. So once you tune it up, it's going to immediately go out of tune as these nylon strings start to stretch. And so a couple of things you can do here for it is you can just kind of go up and you can start yanking on it and just lightly pull up. You don't have to do too much. And tune it up and then just lightly pull it up. And this will help stretch it and get it in tune a little bit faster than if you didn't do that. Okay, so you do that with all four strings. And at that point, you have new strings, your ukulele is clean, and you should be good to go for quite a while with your new set of strings. So that's how we change strings on the ukulele. I hope that helps, and we'll see you in the next lesson.